Alright guys, today this is going to be my first unboxing video and as you can see in front of you it's a Compaq FS 7600 17 inch flat screen CRT and it's got the specs listed on the side of the box here um, 17 inch flat screen 16 inches viewable 0.25 to 0.28 millimeter dot pitch 1280 by 1024 at 60 Hertz uh, 1024 by 768 at 85 Hertz energy star user-friendly on-screen display plug-and-play and two JBL active satellite speakers included in the box now this is brand new um, the top of the box has been opened but none of the contents have ever been removed from the box and I found this on Craigslist and the original owner still had it and it's been in storage for years and years. It came with a computer system he bought for his office and he didn't need to monitor so he just never used it. So let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed, see what's in here and we're gonna check it out. So it's got opening instructions on the top here. It says you need to flip it upside down first. bottom and then flip it over again should lift right off. Alright, first thing we have, a little uh, paper thing, instruction pamphlet, stuck together from sitting. Pretty straightforward, snap the base on, plug it in, hook up the speakers, which I'm not going to do. I'm sure they sound terrible even if they are JBL. We've got a, looks like an AC adapter. That must be for the speakers. And these are the speakers. Piece of paper, piece of cardboard. Looks like some dead bugs. They say JBL. They actually look pretty nice. They have some decent weight to them, so I might check those out. They, they may sound halfway decent. But uh, at this time, I don't need to use them for anything. Here is our stand. It's got swivel, tilt, pretty standard CRT stuff. Those are the power cord. All right, let's get to the main event here. few dead bugs around here, no big deal. Got our attached 
BTA cable, all pretty standard stuff. Not much, not much rubber left in the rubber band. All right. So first thing we want to do is attach the base. in just like that. And there it is. All oh, its brand new glory. Cool. It's got the typical HP menu system. Even the newer LCDs had that exact same button layout, so it should be very familiar right out of the box. Um, so this is going to replace a CTX CRT I have. Um, we'll see which one's better. Um, I don't know if this is Shadow Mask or what's the newer one. Um, the Trinitron style uh, AG aperture grill. I don't know which technology it is yet. Maybe we can figure that out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this swapped out. Let me show you real quick where it's going. So over here to the left, I've got a Gateway P5133XL tower. Um, it is not the anniversary edition as far as I can tell. The video card doesn't match the spec list for that particular model. Um, I think it actually was built after that, but either way, it's a nice computer. I don't think it deserves much of the bad rap the Anniversary Edition got, but we'll feature that in another video soon. And uh, you can see there's the CTX that we're going to replace. Um, looks like a 15 inch. And yeah, let's go ahead and swap that out and see how well it works. All right ready to turn it on here. Um, I'm recording at 60 frames per second so hopefully we can synchronize with the refresh rate. Um, if not I apologize in advance. This is my first time ever recording a CRT so I don't yet know how well or well not this is going to work. Anyways let's go ahead and turn on the gateway. Oh and the CRT that would help wouldn't it? Takes a minute to power on. <laughs> I didn't plug in the VGA cable. Oops. Well, there you have it. It works. And at least as far as I can see, it's a very crisp picture. Better than the uh, CTX. Now, the video card that's in this machine can't do 24-bit color at 1024 by 768, so I'm going to leave it at 800 by 600. Uh, we'll check the refresh rate. We do know it's Energy Star compliant. Um, don't see that it's going to let me change the refresh rate, actually. I did add a Voodoo 2 in here. Um, oh well, let's check the menu here. 
So we're running at 72 hertz, which is why I can see a little flicker on the camera. But I don't see a way to change that right now. Let's go ahead and uh, line up the picture a little bit. Need something on the screen to see the top edge. Yeah, very easy to use controls. I like this. Looks like we got a little bit of twist going on here. So, I'll fine tune it later. Don't need to bore you guys with that. I got the degaussing option, color temperature. Okay. So yeah, I mean it works. Um, I'm looking at the edges of the screen. Everything's crisp all the way to the corners. Uh, the CTX did have some, like the edges weren't very clear. You could see different colors that weren't supposed to be there along the edges of buttons and stuff up in the top right corner. Um, I think I have Doom on here. Let's see how the Gamma looks under that game. It's got a Yamaha 719 ISA sound card. We'll just let the demo run here. So it looks a little bit dark. I forget which key does the gamma. I guess F1 will tell me. 11, F11. So that's gamma level one. That's starting to look pretty good. Three and four are always way too bright. Yeah, that's a little dark on zero. So if we set it to one, it looks pretty good. Level two is probably what a CRT would look like. I find that to hold true for most uh, CRTs. Is kind of level two is what a CRT would, or uh, sorry, an LCD would be. So yeah, initial impressions are good. I like what I see. Um, maybe I'll check out the speakers in another video and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.